Hey there, my name is Jonas Mendorf and today I'm going to show you a little trick that I did for Mark. He wanted to get a new background for this image, so this is a very fast and easy way to get a new background. As we can see, he shot on a gray background, so we're going to use this gray to overlay any background and um, cut our masking time. First of all I'm going to create a new solid color adjustment layer. This is going to be the new background. I'm pressing OK. And choose a light blue color for example. Of course you can put any color, any texture, whatever you want to. Press OK. And now the big trick. Change the layer blending mode to soft light. As you can see, yeah, slowly it builds up. <laughs> As you can see, um, everything gray is affected the most. Everything that is black isn't affected at all. Everything that is completely white isn't affected at all too. too. So what we are going to do now is simply use the paintbrush tool. Use black as our foreground color. Opacity and flow both to 100% and paint over the areas we don't want to be affected. I'm painting very sloppy here because um, the soft light is doing most of our masking job for us. And Camtasia is slowing down my computer so um, there's an option for me to do it a little more accurate. As you can see Anyhow, as you can see, already there's no need for me to go above every edge because um, most of it is already masked by the soft light. So I can do a very sloppy job. But um, there's a little problem left in the hair. It has a really ugly cast now. And this is what we're going to fix now when my computer finally manages to get my paint strokes right. I promise it's faster usually. Way faster. Well, finally, I'm impressed. So, as you can see, this one is my mask. I told you it's sloppy. But already, our model looks yeah, pretty good. Pretty cut out. Some areas have still discoloration. This is where you'll have to paint a little more. But we can also try to go into the advanced blending options. Press on the FX icon, go to the blending options. And blend if 
should be set red because we want the red channel to be the channel we need. Of course, it wouldn't make sense to use this layer for blending because um, this layer contains just the blue and we want to cut everything that is black or very dark in the underlying in the underlying layer. So I'm going to push the slider to the right. Now Alt click to split it and make a soft transition. And try to find the sweet spot. Anywhere um, around here should be fine. Now because we are in the red channel and skin is mainly red, we can also try to move this slider. Split it and push it further to the left. It's important though to not go above 128 because this would reveal all of our background. Yeah, something about around here should be fine. Okay, that's it. Now we are going to, we should refine our mask a little to get it really perfect, but this is the main thing. I hope you get it. And once again, this is our mask. And this is a cutout. And this is how it looks. So it's a pretty easy and very fast technique. Hope it can help you. Hope you learned something. Goodbye.